What's, every, what's up, everybody? How's it going? Didn't see you there. <laughs> how you doing, Andrew? I'm all right, Tope. How are you? So move, your, move, your, move your mic a little, oh, little yeah? closer. Oh, yeah. there we go. So this is uh, this is the first time I've been on this. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's extremely it's, sick. It's pretty cool. Yeah. We got, uh, we got the bed. We got all the anime figures. Um, I'm joined by a good friend of mine, yeah, uh, Chang Wufei, uh, legendary Gundam pilot yeah. extraordinaire. And also, if you didn't know, we have a Catherine tournament here right now. Yeah, uh, let's, let's, let's show, yeah, show, show the people. screen. This was the, uh, the, the beautiful official. fan art that we yeah. had at the uh, pool setups yep. for all of yesterday. Can you can you prop this back up? This is gonna be really difficult for me. I've never, I gotta say, I've never commentated a, a top eight or a top four in a beanbag before, and I'm sure you've never commentated one in a bed. I have not. Uh, this is a new experience, but it should be fun. Yeah, I'm really excited for this. This is gonna be a really good top four. I uh, yeah, I gotta say, Alex Trebelli has outdone himself. Yes. And uh, speaking of outdoing themselves, so let's talk a little bit about the competition here today. Yeah, so. And the competitive landscape. Right, right now, so we have loser semis right now. And this is uh, Rule 02, who is also very famously known for speedrunning this game, specifically Babel. Right. He had a really cool run at ADDQ earlier this year. That's right. Where he plays on two controllers. So if you haven't seen that, you should definitely check that out. Yeah, and he, I think he used to have the world record for it. Now yeah. it's contested by, I think, Someone who's I'm not Japanese sure. or something. Uh, honestly, I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, uh, but his run, yeah, he, he basically has a stick, like an arcade stick, yeah. on his lap as well as a pad. And he's, he's controlling both playing characters. Both characters, really cool. So his strength, you know, and the, the cool thing about Catherine, right, is that everyone has sort of their unique. You know, there's only one character in the game. You know, right. you have the sheep. There's no, there's no matchups in terms of characters. Right, it's but there's a lot of different playstyles. Right. So the matchup is all very player dependent. It's all. You know, you learn to play against different play people, and you have to learn to adapt to the other players very quickly, especially if you've never played them before. Right. So the way I kind of look at it is I think there's like three or four different modes of things you want to do in this game. Right. You have climbing. Yeah. It's like the most simple way to win. You just climb. You try to outpace your opponent. If you get far enough ahead of your opponent, the stage falls out from underneath them. Yeah. You can also get underneath them, though, and fight them. You can push the blocks out at their feet. And you can also get on top of someone if you're slightly ahead of them. You can wall them out by sidling on, you know, in front of them. That's where you're hanging from a block. And if you're hanging from a block in this game, you're invincible. Right. You can't really be messed with. It's, act um, it's actually a really strong position. It's something a lot of people don't realize because it's kind of like, oh, you're hanging, you're about to fall. But right. Honestly, usually not. Right, right. And uh, so there's, there's a couple... You know, there's a couple different ways, you know, it's hard to say, someone asked me, you know, is it better to be ahead of someone in this game or, or behind someone? Because if you're behind someone, you can aggress upon them. Right, there's not a real answer to that. It's very situational, it's very player dependent in a lot of times, like, yep. it's, it's not an easy one. So, I'd say, I'd say Ghoul, I mean, I think traditionally, like, his strength would be climbing. I mean, he's got such good fundamentals for climbing from his Babel experience. Yeah. But he's, Sketch is, uh, he's played a lot of competitive. He's gotten really right, good at fighting right, too. Right, right. He's yeah, learned yeah. a lot of the uh, the little stuff. But his and opponent sketches. Right. Let, he, let's talk about him. He's he's completely new to the scene. Yeah. He basically came into uh, me and Dasa Bros uh, Catherine streams a while ago and was talking about how he was picking up the game. I okay. think he's got a really unique take on it where he has a lot of tech. When, when I played this guy in the bracket yesterday, he had a lot of unseen hidden technology where he was just, yeah. he really seems like he came prepared. Oh, wow. Ooh, classic setup. Sketch is like, for example, a lot of tech. You yeah. see right there where he does the block push on the spikes. So he cannot run off the spikes in time and he will get killed by it. Right. He's, uh, I mean, you can climb, uh, you can you can walk on a, a right. row of spikes and you can, if you walk off immediately, you're fine. But since Sketch has pushed the spike block with him. Yeah, he the, stayed on the block as right. the spikes were coming up. Right, so this is, uh, yeah, there's, there's an example. Ooh, and he gets the strong hit on him. That was an X Factor in the background there, the energy drink, but he is not going to be able to get it. It's, I mean, he kind of pushed it before he saw it. It's a really hard one to chase there. And actually, Ghoul not looking in the best position. But no, he might be able to get that X Factor, and he does. Yeah, that's going to that's gonna really change the tide of things. Yeah. That's another reason it's not that great to be always necessarily ahead of someone. Right. If you're behind, you get items much more easily. Yeah. And it's actually to a point where it's, it's not completely, but almost guaranteed. You'll get at least one X Factor if they're above by so many levels. Yes. However, it has to go fast because the stage will fall faster the farther behind you are. That's right. Oh, that was they so clever. He switches his he switches his attention. That was uh, that was cool, cool right there. Yeah. And Ghoul making it to the top of uh, Torture Chamber. Yeah. You don't see that super often, really um, but I think that you know he he kind of had the lead anyway at the climbing advantage, but he saw the X Factor pull and he's like, let me just take this item from you. 
You know, thank you, thank you for the. Uh, oh, he's gonna. That might that might cost him. That could be a big one. Yeah. Okay, so he's not in an uh, altered state. So there's a, a sort of combo thing you can do in this game where if you're. Oh, this is this is this is potentially big for uh, for both players. It is. It's this is a very tense situation. And, oh, oh and there's that X factor again. Factor, but he knocks him down. Oh, and and that's he gets it. The combo off. So that's the combo I was talking about. Right. Um, you know, if you drop kick someone in this game, you can drop kick them again and you know keep sort of pummeling them down the staircase. Uh, you know, without them being able to walk away from it. The only thing you can do is sort of tech out of it or DP out, we call it, by pushing a block that your opponent is standing on as you're getting comboed. And that will make them fall. Right. If, as they're trying to combo. However, you can option select out of that. Right, you can just walk out of the combo. You just yeah. you just cut your combo short, and now your opponent's in a really bad position because they've pushed out a block that they probably needed to climb right. up. Not to mention, oh it puts them in a special state where the next time they grab the ledge, they will immediately fall. Yes. Uh, and that's a really dangerous state to be in, so... And that state will stay until you have fallen. Yes, exactly. Uh, that makes climbing a lot harder. You try to pull a block and you just yeah. fall. It makes everything a lot harder, especially oh, yeah. if you don't realize you have it. Ready? Go. I've definitely seen a lot of people just die because they were in altered state and didn't realize it. Right. <laughs> Alright, we got Cathedral. This is a very interesting stage. And this would be Sketch's counter pick. Yeah, this is a... This makes a lot of sense. I think this is the stage where you need the most, like... You need the most opening knowledge. You need to know what you're doing at this because it's a very complicated level. Oh, this could be really big right here. Yeah, it is. Jeez, good push from Ghoul. And he's got sketches uh, on a very important round here. If he goes up 2-0 in the set, I think that's, that's going to be really hard one, to yeah. from. Because the other thing is, even if he loses, he still gets two counter picks. Yeah. And that said, I know Ghoul does like this stage a lot as well. He was even saying earlier today, like, yeah, like I'm Cathedral's one of my favorites. Yeah. So. Yeah, we money matched yesterday. He uh, he counter picked it against me every every time every chance he got. You also really like this stage. Though. I do, I do. I think that uh, I think that the three-dimensional sort of layout of the stage is way more interesting than how a lot of other stages sort of end up playing out. Oh, it, oh, he's gonna go over. He's, he's, gonna, he wants he's to gonna fight. fight him. Oh, he's gonna start pushing. Oh, he's gonna make it harder. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, this is there actually yeah, not there bad for yeah, but ooh, not bad. Hey, okay, they're both out of there. Wow. Sketches tries to run, just get out and run away. He might be able to make something happen here. He has to act fast though. The stage is falling. That's something. This has to help. <laughs> Oh, oh Ghoul's just gonna wall him out. Okay. Nice. That was, a, that was a really smart push by Sketches. He needed to do that. Yeah, oh, Sketches exactly. doesn't see the alternate way up. Oh, that works. Oh. Never mind. What when you I? have X Factor, it doesn't matter at all. Yeah, wow. And Sketches and just takes off. And yeah, Ghoul's Ghoul done. Yeah. Ghoul's done. Oh, wow. That was such clutch navigation from Sketches. Really well played. Yeah. Player two. Oh, Sketches. All right. And this is so big, because like you said, Ghoul could go up 2-0 here, but keeping it 1-1 would be really big for Sketches. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that could have been super big. That's a potential pin. Sketches is out of there. That Dark Box saves him. He was in a scary, scary situation. If you guys have seen that pin before, it's basically like the wobble of this game. It's an infinite combo, so to speak, where you basically knock your opponent down, you stand over them so they can't get up, and that's it. And Ghoul can't even find a 2-block to climb with the X-Factor. Yeah, this is uh, that's okay. that's helpful, that, but that helps. It's not really what he needed. That'll that, work. Yeah, with X Factor, but it'll yeah. work. Sketch is actually playing around his X Factor very well, setting it up to make it so it, he can't really climb. Yeah, this is not great for Ghoul. And this just shows Sketch's game knowledge of how he can he can tell like, oh, he's got the X Factor. I know yeah. how to set this up to make it hard. That's right. Wow. And Sketch just takes it. Great defense. Sketch yeah. is trying to set up one one. One thing about sketches I noticed, man, I think he, this guy does not falter on the big stage. I think he, uh, I think he, especially because I think he feels like he's got a lot to prove. This is his first big tournament, uh, and he's coming with a lot of hidden knowledge. I feel like he he feels like he's fighting for the position of the underdog the whole time. So I think and he that, knows he has the crowd on his side. I mean, it's right. his home state. He's got his boys there he's cheering for him. Yeah, he's Only very comfortable here. Yeah, I think he's playing. Yeah, he's he's these playing with that killer instinct. Spiral. And, okay. Cool counter picks to Spiral, that's... I guess it makes sense, but it's an interesting choice. It's a... I mean, it's a buildy stage. Yeah. Um, I know Ghoul has really taken a liking to that. Uh, the new the new Spiral Corridor opening where you ratchet the stage down one level. Yeah, and you'll probably see it here, actually. Yeah, let's see what Ghoul does. Yeah, see? He's a, a little bit of a... Yeah, it doesn't yeah, really matter too much. So yeah, you kind of drop it down and that would give you control over the... Oh, sketches! Whoa, whoa. But... As we say, talk about his nerves, he makes a big mistake. Yeah, that's a day, day one mistake. Right. 
you cannot, you know, we talked about the spike blocks and how, you know, with spike blocks you can sort of trigger them and then walk yeah. out. And it's not a big deal with the spirals. Yeah. Uh, you're totally the done. The spirals dude. will instantly kill you if you step on those. Yeah. And both of them kind of playing a tug of war here. Both opting to go a little lower. Yeah. You guys see what they're doing here? They're basically, if you push that whole roll of spirals or, or toilets, as we call them colloquially, um, you you stand to basically just push your opponent into the into the to into the toilet. There's there's not much they can do about that. And you, yeah, you can basically try to push it similar with the spikes. You can push it as they're walking. Right. And they will just die if they are on that. It's yeah. Actually, more guaranteed than the spikes are because the spikes you still have a chance to walk off. Right. Right. Exactly. Oh, that interesting dark wow. block. Oh, cool. Really good dark block placement, but cool navigates around it perfectly. Yeah. Oh wow. Ghoul's trying to wall him out here. He's got him at a choke point. And oh, and he pushes him. Oh, no, he doesn't get the combo, though. Yeah, failed reaction, but that should be but it for it. Sketches. Yeah. He does not have to do anything. Sketches will fall. Holy it's, uh... Crap. Was that not three out of five? Oh, I'm so, I'm so surprised. We're doing first to threes? Is, that was first to two, right? I thought all... Ghoul, are we sure? This is first to... First to so that, that was, was only 2-1. Two, one. Two, one, so it's two out of three here, but top three is three out of five? Okay. Oh, so okay, okay, okay. So winners finals, losers yeah, finals, and, and grand, grand finals. finals three out of five. But that was loser semi. So okay, interesting. Wow. So Ghoul knocking sketches out. That's yeah. really clutch. Yeah, uh, right, yeah. Sketches is out. Yeah. Sketches is completely out. But a very strong. Very showing. interesting. Yeah. And that's that goes to show how I think the you know Dasibro is pretty pretty solidly the best player right, right now. Very, very comfortably the top player. I mean, he, he, well, it's getting less and less comfortable, it is. right? But he has not lost a tournament yet. Right, hasn't lost a tournament yet. Uh, only dropped one set in recent memory. Um, yeah, um, to me. Yeah, no, that was it. He, I was going to say, I thought he lost at uh, the Invitational, but he did not. No, Mike had him Mike had down it, to the wire. That's down. what we're going to see right here. So right. That, that's so this is going to be a really interesting one, because Mike Muscles versus Dazzabro, these two play all the time. Yes. I mean, they're roommates. Yeah. This is the roommate showdown in Winner's Finals. Sorry? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sit, uh, it's good if you guys sit in that order. Um, one thing, you know, that I have observed watching tournaments and playing in tournaments for this game, I've noticed that Dasibro, uh a lot of people who do not play with him regularly have a really hard time with him because of just the sheer amount of stuff he's good at. Uh, and he, I mean, he pioneered this game for the exactly. most part. He knows almost everything there is about this he's game. He's one with the blocks. Right. It's very, Only it's very rare that he gets surprised by something. Thing. Right. But the one thing I do observe is that I think the people of the best shot at Dasibro are the NorCal players. That's true. What I've seen because is that me, and, me and Mike, play. yeah, I think we right. do better against Dasibro than than you know a lot of the out of towners. Right. It's, it's very. It's, there's actually become kind of an interesting matchup where it's like you two are the only ones. It's currently, honestly, Sketches might have a chance. I haven't seen them play. Right. But Sketches you two would be the ones who would take him out. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, this is. I mean, we saw Dasibro and Ghoul in winners. He's the one who sent Ghoul to losers. I think that was a pretty comfortable 2-0. But Mike, you know, the last couple of times these guys have played, it has been, it's been very close. It's been very close, yeah. So this should be a good set. We'll we will see. Yeah. Can Mike Muscles slay the king of Catherine? Yeah, this is this is Mike's moment right now. Both of them have their phones at the ready. If they get a selfie opportunity, they, yeah, they have they have it set up so they can take that selfie pin instantly. That's right. All right. They're both just doing a bit of a hand warming here, making sure they're on the right side. Yeah. Looks Igloo. like Dasibro is blue sheep, which is... Uh, yeah, Dasibro's blue. It's interesting, because I know normally he prefers orange, so I'm going to assume he lost the rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, it is possible. And it doesn't seem like it's that important, but blue sheep does have an advantage in this game. Right. Um, where if you, uh, if, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, if, so if you're in the pin state, Only those um, who can face the blue sheep will always win. Will make it if it falls, even if he's the one pit. Right. If they're both on the same yeah. square, the game ends. Yeah. Blue wins. So there is a blue sheep advantage. So generally, right. you would think blue sheep is the one you would prefer. Right. However, orange sheep does get an additional stage strike. Right. Or she gets a strike first and last because yeah. there's six legal stages. So they have more control over which stage they go to, and a lot of people like that. Yeah, yeah. I think it's really important in a game where play style is so important. Especially at this point, where the advantage has gotten honestly fairly mitigated. Right, that's the other thing. I mean, at high level, the 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 pin is like pretty automatic for most orange sheet players right. now. Anyway, you know, there's you know how to get out of the pin. Right, there, and there's a very simple way to time it, such yeah. you just climb up at the last moment and blue sheep dies anyway. It's yeah. not actually a very big deal at high level play. Um, but some people like it. Some people like. I know I personally like not having to think about it. But 
I like it for stages like Cathedral, where you often get a pin on the very last layer. Yeah, and you, it's know? Hard, you don't really have a, a solid way up. Right. All right, so they're stage striking right now, yeah. thinking pretty hard. It looks like they've agreed to... Underground, Underground Cemetery. Cemetery. You would not have seen this from Dasa Bro a couple months ago. I wouldn't have expected this, honestly. Yeah. I would have expected more of a clock tower or a spiral, I think. Yeah, I, I almost wonder who struck those stages. Yeah, um, well, Mike was the last one, so I guess he just feels, you know, Cemetery... Cemetery not really yeah. being as basic as you would think. I mean, no, uh, this is a this is a do-or-die kind of stage. It's a very fragile stage. It's a very... You honestly want to be very aggressive here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And you can see Dasabro taking some of that aggression. That's right. Oh, very checkerboard layout to the stage right now. And it's, it's tough because most of these blocks do not have anything behind them. That's if right. If you climb, you will put, the stage will be pushed out pretty instantaneously and you'll just lose. Yeah. Oh, my God. And, and yep. you can see it there. He's too, a little too far ahead and he starts to push yeah. it out. And you saw there. Uh, that, wow, so good. Oh. Mike, he's, Mike Muscles knew he had to drop because Dasabro started pushing out his tower. He threatened that, and, and you know, Mike Muscles do. If I say where I'm at, he's gonna combo me in a pillow hit for free. Yeah. Uh, so he took the gamble, dropped down preemptively, but Dasabro was so ready for it. And you can see just how good everyone, like the high level players in this game, are good at this game. Yeah. Oh, this could be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dasabro immediately so, gets out of there. At this point, there's not really many places they can climb. No, absolutely not. Like this they is have be to a, fight. This is gonna be a real battle, and it's gonna be a battle for 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 height essentially. Yeah. Okay. And Mike definitely has a big advantage here. Yeah. Just by having more stage to work with. Oh, that's and it. Yeah, that's, that's it for Dasa, bro. It. Yep. All right. I just said all right at the same time as the sheep throwing the block. <laughs> crowd coming alive for the upset right yeah. now. We actually have a pretty big cloud here, crowd here for Catherine. It's really cool to see. We do. All right. So this is yeah. a. This feels like an important round to me, man. I feel like if Mike gets the momentum in this set, you know, who knows what's going to happen. Oh, that's true. But the I, one think, thing I think the big thing is about it is, you know, you get the counter pick. And because it's yes. out of five, there are no bans. That's right. So you want that, you want, you know, to have those counter picks for later if you need them. Oh, can he get the full? Oh, wow. So clutch for Mike. Mike is out of there. Oh. the X Factor, though. That, I, that's not going to matter. Gonna I don't think it's going to so matter. He has to push there. It, it totally oh. mattered. It wow. definitely I think, mattered. I think Mike gave him a block. I think Mike gave him a block that he shouldn't have given him. I think Mike might have thrown that round. I'm not sure. Well, Mike won. Mike was one sheet. Oh, I'm sorry. David. What am I saying? Oh, wow. So David. David going over. down 1-0 to Mike Muscle. He did, he did that block push. Yeah, I got to watch that again. He, he, he did that block push, put a block over him that he used to climb up. And, uh, you know, sometimes you got to be really careful yeah. about situations like that. I don't think, I mean, I feel like I want to say maybe he didn't realize it, but what? it's Dazzard post, so I really don't think that happened. Yeah, he's got really, really good stage awareness. But yeah. you know, another thing that's that bears bears noting is this is tournament, right? And that's when the spaghetti comes out, man. And that's that's true. And you know, he did almost lose the last tournament that they played. That's right. Uh, you know, his round one ready. Mike is smiling right now. Mike's feeling yeah. good. Oh, he's he's ready for it. Mike's feeling good. <laughs> All right. You know, Dasa okay. taking Mike to spiral. Yeah, Dasa tried to shark him there. I like that. He's he tried to try to ch check him. He a was bit. smart enough to know to immediately know this. Oh, this is a bad idea. Yeah. Ooh. They got, that's actually not a great situation for Dasa. Yeah, this is shaky for both. This got really, yeah. really weird, really three dimensional, really quick. They're both actually in kind of a tough spot. Both setting it up for the halfways up. Oh wow, we got a pinpoint. Yeah. Da okay. Mike Muscles wants none of that. Oh, jeez, he just sidled on thin air. Yeah, Dasa doesn't... Right, Mike is just saying, you know, yeah. you can come at me if you want, bro. That's good. Oh, wow. 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 Very good awareness by Mike. Yes. All right, time to climb? I think they have to. Yeah, stage is super split now. Yeah, and it looks like Mike's oh going to have a huge God. advantage here. Get up. Can he get over? He gets the x That's not going to be enough. That's not going to be enough. Oh, no. Oh, was that going to... Oh, he did the best he could. Yeah, it was It was a good attempt, and you, you can't not try. Right. You know, because you never know, especially on a stage like this, it's entirely possible your opponent thinks they won, doesn't pay attention, and walks into a toilet. That's right. And you see Dasselbo doing the new opening where he rashes the stage, but yep. doesn't finish it. He sees yeah. Mike starts to aggress very heavily. Yes. Yeah, this is a... Okay. Okay. Mike's going to climb up. Dasset just trying to climb right now, but... It um, does kind of look like Mike's not in the best position, but he gets oh, the X-Factor, and that's what'll do it. 
That'll do it. Okay, so where's he gonna try to climb up here? That's you know, he has a lot of options with that X Factor. He does. He does, but again, it's hard right. to get her. Those two right. toilets and are making it interesting. He's ready for, like, yeah. Maybe he's ready and not making it easy for him to climb. Yeah, oh, and there it, there it is. Out, but he gets and another he gets one. Another one. Can oh, but that's though? not going to matter. Top, so no. Wow. Dasenbro makes it to the top. Out climbed a double X Factor pull from Mike Muscles. And this that is, was such solid defense honestly, from This is not an easy stage to climb. No, it's not. Like, because you can set it up so the toilets are in the way. And right. Mike going for some of the cheese there. Oh, so it's. Oh, no, no, no one's, no one's going to get that. Oh, wait a minute. No, Mike could actually get that if he wanted. He just doesn't need to at all. I don't think it's worth it. Honestly. All right, no, Dasibro needs an item here. So Mike Muscles wants to stay below him, so he, you know, he doesn't have a, as much of a chance of getting an item, right? Maybe. I think it's still going to be. You know, I don't. Honestly, I don't like when you have to get the item. Yeah. And you can see when it doesn't show up. Nothing, yeah. Wow. All right, Mike Muscles going up 2 0 in the set. 2 0 in winners' finals over Dasibro right now. He's feeling good. That was Can the King come back? What I've seen so far, man, I mean, Dasibro's got a lot of good stuff, but Mike Muscles. He's 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 had the awareness every step of the way. He was right. looking out for the shark. Uh, you know, he drops low to, to give him as few as few R and Jesus opportunities as possible. He's got all the, he is, the fundamentals down right now. He is ready for Dacid, bro. He he's wants ready. to kill the king. He does. Ooh, what a torture chamber! I don't know oh. why he picked him the torture chamber. Oh my god. Well, this is a uh, this could be a very monumentous uh, three zero here if yeah. Mike Muscles wins this next round. All men think all mortal but themselves, and today Mike Muscles thinks Dasibro is mortal. Thank you, Edward Young. All right, Mike, with that new stuff. You know, Dasibro thinks he's immortal in this game. Oh, Mike yeah. Mike Muscles is ready to prove him wrong. Oh, jeez. Wow. Oh. I think he could have pushed that, but he would have had to react very quickly. Yeah. This, this got really weird really fast. Mike playing it pretty safe on this stage. And he's also, you know, staying a little down, going for some of the items. Right. He could probably farm right now if he wanted. He has a little bit of chances, but he wants to keep it a little a little safer, a little less RNG dependent. Yeah. That said, Torture is one I think it's generally pretty safe that, you know, you'll get something. And that's, that's scary. He sets up the pin situation. Right. But Mike does not go for it. You know, one thing that I think is really cute, Mike does have a block right now. And I have observed that this is the stage, I think, where the block kill happens by far the most. It'd be really interesting to see that play out. Oh, oh that's gonna wow, be huge. That was really big. Mike can still climb up. And oh. oh my god, gets oh, the pin! He has the way up! Mike Is he muscles. gonna take the selfie? No, he's not even risking it here. No. He's not even going to what? He wants the king dead. That's right. And so the timing here, you start pushing. Uh, pulling, and because you can't pull onto the block you're on. Yeah, your character just does that head bob. Right. And you count to nine, and then you climb up. And you climb up. Two. It's very easy to get that timing as long as you have the block to climb up. Right. All right, this is set round for Mike Muscles. Going for the double rat. Oh, oh my wow, god. The X Factor. That could be huge. But he's got Dacid, bro, right. right here. It's very tough. Uh, that um, should do it. That should actually do it. Yeah, and Dasibro, you know, they're on the same you know, on the I, same score, but he's slightly higher. I don't think higher. either of them realized, you know, the block was there for that pin. I thought they already thought they were dead. Right, right. All right, good stuff to Dasibro. That was a very intense situation. A very clutch moment by Dasibro. Yeah, he found himself. And oh, man. The that's easy pull. Dasibro's still in this. Yeah. That's a, that's a painful round. That's that day yeah. one stuff. And Mike has to not be shaken by that. Right. Because that was a very... Honestly, a very, you know, easy one to fall into. Yes. But also very easily avoidable. It's exactly. And, you know, you don't you start beating yourself up over something like right. that. He cannot let that get to him. No, absolutely not. Torture. And I think, take a second, but he does have his counter pick now. Takes him to Quadrangle. Ooh, he's taking him to Quadrangle. You know, I actually, I think this is one of Mike's stronger stages. Yeah, I think so, too. Uh, I, the last time me and Mike played a tournament, uh, he beat me twice in the same set on Quadrangle, and wow. I was just like, oh, okay, I, I can't do it here. Yeah. Um, I think he's he's both got that really like sharp awareness for how to hook the level to make it hard to push. And they both kind of start the sea captains. Right. But bail out pretty quickly. So they sort of fake it. And now we've got like the gentleman's quadrangle thing going on. Right. Where the you're splitting the stage all the, the way middle. down. And for those who don't know, the sea captains is an opening on quadrangle where 
you split the stage and you basically entirely destroy the side of the stage you start on. And if right. they keep climbing, you can just push the entire stage out from under them. Yes. Oh, so, I, you have to be aware of what your opponent is doing very early on in this stage. Because if they're going for it and you just climb, you'll die. Yeah. And but, I love I love the transition there from Dazzaro, by the way, speaking of climbing. Where he like has him in the fighting situation and then takes a moment, looks at his structure and says, Wait a minute, I have a much better structure for climbing. I can just get out. Yeah. So he hits him with the smoke and mirrors and then just immediately shifts. Ooh. And so now it's kind of become a fight very early on because they both know, you know, they go for it. David, wow, a very quick round on quadrangle from Dasa Grow. Yeah, that's and a... it's now 2-2. Two -two. Really dangerous place to get pulled out on. I think Mike needs to take a second. <coughs> yeah. I think if you take a second and think about it, think about where he wants to go and think about what he needs to do. But I would expect... Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Mike took it back to torture. I no, that was close. I wouldn't be surprised... I normally wouldn't be surprised if Mike took it back to Quadrangle, but that was a pretty convincing game there. That was. I mean... Sometimes it's just like... You know, you say to yourself, like, yeah, you know, I can win on this level. Like, uh, he, uh, that, that, that death was kind of stupid. I right. shouldn't have died like that. But it's still like you... Just, you know, just to shake things up, you right. want to move, move it on, you know, to take it somewhere else. But if you know where you messed up, yeah, you know, it's fine. But then go to Cathedral. Oh, this is such a fitting Game 5 stage. I agree, I agree. This stage is... If you don't know what you're doing in this stage, like, if you don't have a build, you will lose. Yeah. You know, and you have to know your openings. You have to know how the stage works. And that's that's one thing Mike Muscles has in spades, man. He's right. a lab monster. He is. He he is a scientist. He wants to solve the puzzle. Yeah. And this is a puzzle game. Yep. Oh, and he gets an X-Factor. It's a very like early X-Factor. That's important. But he has to be careful not to get that block and override it. Right. And, you know, another thing that's that's worth noting, this is not a stage where one X-Factor no, really you know, makes like, you win, per se. But, you know, he's going for it. Yeah. He's got the big climb there. He's going to try to fast break it, maybe? He really wants to. He needs to, though, because Dasselbro can try to farm for the X-Factor. But you see here, he got slowed down a lot yep. by that. Yeah, little things like that. And, and right there, you know, x Factors run out and Dasabro's already on the same level. Yeah. It's not a big deal. And they're going to start the fighting here. This is a really interesting one. There's not a whole lot of room for either of them to go. Yeah, this is like a torture chamber fight almost. It is, honestly. There's but a lot of bridges one, they could pull. Right, but one solid happen. hit is really right. going to hurt. Look how far up they are. And that's actually a tough situation for Mike. But, oh, oh that's going to do is. it. That's so huge. That's so no, he huge. Gets the block. He might be able to come back from this. It's he true. has a way up. But I don't know if it's going to be enough. He's going to start pushing He's now. He's going to push things right away. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so bad. It's ratchet in the bag. Is out. he going to see it? Uh, no, it's not going to matter. It's not going to matter. Dasabro's got it. He's already up. The three-dimensional climb and Dasabro goes up. One round in game five. Alright, how's Mike going to handle this? Mansion build. The mansion, yep. Oh, and Dasabro's building the wall. He's pulling the Trump. Another another opening that Dasbro invented recently, the Trump. Said, this is a very recent one. I don't actually know this. I've heard of it. I don't know the opening. It's like an alternate split build where, uh, you know, you basically just build a three wall up really high. And as you can see, see. they haven't interacted very much. Yeah, uh, it's very split. It's very fun, oh. but you can see that wow. If Dasbro had chosen to go down there, that could have been a very interesting situation. Oh, this is actually really... Yeah. Mike has all the leverage on Dasbro's tower right now. <laughs> Like he's got a lot of time to mess with him. Dasabro, oh, a little bit of a slip up for Mike. He needs to go. You know, he needs to push it, but it's hard oh, because so then smart. goes down. So, oh, oh my, my god, goodness. that's very close. And that's gonna no. do it. Dasabro advances to grand finals over Mike Muscles in a very close set. Wow. The the thing that was really interesting there, Dasabro was. You saw that Mike had leverage over the whole tower, but he had to go deep in. And he in. did have to go deep in, and, and you so, saw when he did it. Right. Dasabro threatened just to drop. Yeah. over him and wall him out, and that's what he did. Exactly what happened. Uh, sketchy situation at the end. I mean, Mike Muscles might have been able they, to avoid that with they a push. They could have done it, and that's, you know, that's kind of the scramble in this game. You get to that situ those very tense situations, you have to react very quickly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, this game will test your reactions it for really sure. Will. All right, Ghoul versus Mike Muscles. Oh, yeah. Mike Muscles is hot now. He is, but he did just lose. He did just, that's true. That's but, true. you know, I don't think Mike is the kind of player to let that get to him. I think he's gonna take a second, he's gonna breathe. Yep. They're gonna, you know, they're gonna figure out what sheep they want, they're gonna figure out this stage. 
This feels to me like another set where winning the first round is going to matter a lot. I think so. I think in all of the three out of fives, honestly, yeah. it usually matters a lot. I think when you when you win the first game, you have that counter pick advantage, and you're just like, because this is a game where like it's so easy to die. Yeah. It's so so easy to die, right? It's like Marvel. You know, you get thrown by beneath one time. Right. <laughs> you're just dead. And uh, you're just dead. And so being down a game and then only having, you know, two versus three rounds to play with is just like, it makes yeah, all the you, difference. You know, you can get in your head a lot as well. Yeah. Quadrangle. Oh, they're striking the quadrangle. quadrangle. Ooh. All right, well, Ghoul knows all the new stuff. I think he knows how to deal with the sea captains. He does. I, I, you know, I just, I don't know why Ghoul would take my quadrangle. Was it his pick? Uh, that's a good point. Oh, it does look like Mike is, is orange sheep. Ghoul, are you blue? Okay. Ghoul is blue. So Mike, Mike takes himself to Quadrangle, which I think makes sense. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Mike likes the stage a lot. He does, and I think it fits him well for the most part. Yeah, okay. He is going for some of the new stuff, but Ghoul is ready. Yeah. He knows how to fight it. And you see him being very patient. Oh. Wow, that was very close. Oh, he does wow. get the kill. He just does it. You know, normally there, normally there, you try to get a pillow hit. Right. You pull the T-block, and then you can drop on him, but he just says, no, you know what, I'm doing it. He, call, he, he, he called out the sidle, because he knew he was going to try to climb up there, and he's like, no, yeah. you're just going gonna to sidle here. I'm going to dunk you off. Really clever stuff. That's that gameplay you like to see, Andrew. Yeah. I really like to see it. And now we got a good old-fashioned climbing battle. Again, you know, items are a reason that it is so, you know, okay a lot of the time to be behind someone in this game. You know, it really forces combat, but in Quadrangle, there are no items that spawn. Right. Items do not spawn on, I think, most special blocks, if not all. Uh, they spawn on crack blocks and bomb blocks. Right. But they will not spawn on ice. They will not spawn on ice, yes. Uh, all right, Ghoul trying to find an alternate way up. I think yeah. he's got something here. Well, yeah, he that'll might do have it. something, but he has to go fast. Mike is just climbing. Yeah. And he is at the top. Can he make this? Oh. Oh, that's a tough one. Oh, is he going to mess with this? What is, how's he going to... Because Mike doesn't have an easy way up. He can start putting... Yeah, yeah, that's it. There you go. Mike says, yeah, I got to fight. I got to come... Oh, that's big. Okay. He has to make... Ghoul he's got to pull. make something happen right now. Can he make it up? Oh, well, that's, that's tough. Big. No, that's big. Mike does that fall. Is that big. Was very well navigated by Ghoul too. Yeah. Waited for the right, exact right moment. Yeah, right, Engage right. Him. Not even, not even just well navigated, but like well timed. Yes. He like Ooh. waited a second to like make sure the floor was gonna fall out when he wanted Ghoul's it. His timing has been very well this weekend. You saw it against uh, Sketches early in the bracket. Yeah. Where he walked right as he saw Sketches throw the block to walk over the block that was not there yet and kill him. Right. All right. This this is a this is the NorCal counter pick we know and love. Torture? Tor uh, no, 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 no. This is NorCal Tower, baby. Okay, okay. This is NorCal. I'm surprised I, it didn't come out game five of you know, the. That's what I was expecting. I honestly would have thought Clock Tower just for it. But. I, I would have thought Clock Tower, Andrew, I might have thought Prison of Despair. Prison, Je prison, Je gentleman's, gentleman's Prison, prison would have made sense. Yeah. Oh, the one bomb. One bomb to rule them all from. Oh, is he just going to use a block and get up? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ghoul. He him into going for the block. Yeah, Ghoul going for a little bit of a jog. And uh, Mike just Mike just calls him out. Because you will not pass. And so it's interesting because recently people started climbing on this stage to yep. blow up that block there, which honestly blows up the stage more than if you hit all the blocks. Kind of oh, weird. that's but gonna no, do it. Oh no, it's not. Oh, Mike stays alive. And what Gould in the falling. world? Mike was so dead, and he yet was, the bomb blew but he up. He was on. ready. He saw the opening and took it. Yeah, that was crazy. One more tenth of a second, yes. and that would have been Ghoul's around instead of Mike's. That's the danger of Cloud Tower, man, but Mike is so good at that stuff. And they go 1-1, one, one, which I think is really big in this. It gives neither one a huge advantage. Yeah, and yeah. And Cathedral, I think, is, uh, makes sense for Ghoul. He really likes this stage a lot. I think yeah. it's probably his favorite counter pick. That's what I, yeah, it's like this in Spiral. Yeah. Because Ghoul's a really comfortable climber. Yeah. He's got all that Babel experience, you know. And one other thing you have to really be able to do on Babel is look at really complicated block positions. Right, and see, you know, what's the best or the fastest way to climb up. And that's, that's something right. that's very useful on Cathedral. Yeah, right. That uh, Mike's showing us a little bit of that uh, that technology himself, though. He did the, um, I believe the game calls that the the bring down the house, where you push blocks and make them fall, and then you, then, then you make it up. Oh, wow. Oh. Sidles onto a block as he throws it. Yeah, that was clever. And that's oh, it could have been a pin. Oh. And he knocks him off. He's in, actually, Mike's in a very good position here. Yeah. yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, I don't. Oh, I not anymore. He could have stayed there. I think he could have stayed there and won, honestly. 
but he pushes wow. it off. Oh, and Ghoul he's alive? Away? No. Right. Wow, two. I thought Mike was actually in uh, not a great spot. All right, Mike with the mansion build. There it is again. Cool farming uh, down below. He's actually got a lot of leverage to do that if he wants. Yeah. And he has a lot of time, too. Honestly, he does a good amount. But he's just trying to get up. He's trying to make it more even. Yeah, that's fine, too. Like he wants, yeah, he wants to bridge it so they can fight. And he tries like to take it there. Right, right, right. I think one player that really taught us all the strength of just fast-breaking your opponent was Shasties. Yeah. Uh, that guy is a really, really slick climber. Uh... And you know, yeah, you know, maybe your opponent's not going to reach the goal on this level, but if you're ahead enough, more than one floor right. drops out at once, so you just die. Well, we got a real, like, even really playing field one. here. Yeah. So, we're playing a very tough defense game here, and he needs to keep it up. And that, oh wow! Oh, so clever. Mike. Oh, is this going to happen? Very well. Well done by Mike to not stay there and get hit. That's right. And that's, wow! No, they both fall! And Mike, I think, has the advantage oh. here, and he does. He and takes it. Put himself 2-1 over the goal. Man, and if Ghoul had... That was a tough reaction. If Ghoul had seen uh, the other block he could have climbed on, he could have forced a draw, right. or maybe even a victory, because Mike would have dropped on uh, and, and, and been been sidling while he was standing. And the round would have gone to Ghoul. That was like a really, really clutch That's situation. Really tough. And you know, those are the things you have to uh, be aware of. You have to look for it, because whoever sees those first is going to win. Right. Mike bridging over to, uh, okay, yeah, neither one of them wants yeah. to contend with that, that, that pinpoint. If you get knocked down and there's a block in the way, that's how those pins occur. Uh, if you get knocked down and there is nowhere for you to fall to, you just right. fall to the ground. Okay, that's interesting way up. To, he needs to use that now. Yeah. Kind of took the scenic route. Uh, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, you know, gave him a little more chance. I think he was kind of hoping he would get another item. And again, both players avoiding the pin. Right, I see what Mike's doing here. He's trying to make it... He's trying to make Ghoul think, you know, I got the X-Factor, I'm just gonna climb. Oh, oh good stuff cool, to Ghoul, yeah. though. That was pretty good. I like that. Yeah, I think he, he wanted to make it, you know, because if your opponent is X-Factor, you're thinking, gee, I gotta wall this right. guy up and right now. you're gonna now. try to climb. But right. Mike, and, Mike kind of fakes that he's gonna climb and, and, and holds off to see if Ghoul's gonna put himself in a bad position but because... But take the bait. So that was really good. Yeah. Okay, interesting way up. Oh, and, and he's got the, the pin. pin. And again, Mike is, Mike is, is he going? Oh, he's going for the selfie this time. He's going for the selfie. It's actually a dangerous one because he is on cheek. He is on cheek. So he has to time this well. And Dasher Bro in the background getting the whole crowd in. Oh. Didn't matter. Mike's too fast. He wants this game. He's trying to time it. Oh. No, oh. he timed it too fast. Oh. He had another row. Hit another row. Oh, th this should still be really good. For yeah, yeah, this he's is still really good, good for Mike. Yeah. Right. There it goes. Oh my Mike, god. Mike gets the selfie, says, I don't even need that pin to win. Right. He just wanted the time to take a selfie. Good uh, good awareness, I yeah. guess, on his part. You know, he, he, he realized he made a mistake, but he was just like, no, this is fine. I can still do this. Right. Right. It's Ghoul's moment right now. Ghoul's gonna, it looks like he's gonna bridge over to Mike Muscle's side. Oh, Mike there's the X-Factor. Factor. Oh, this could be really be big. big. Oh, no. but Ghoul... No, but he stays alive. He's hanging on the edge. But Mike has the uh, position advantage. Uh, Not anymore. No, I think Not this, anymore. Is, this he is doesn't. good for Ghoul. Now it definitely is. And he's got the block. He's got to time this right, though. And he doesn't. Draw. They draw. You know what you would do? You know what he should have done there? He should have used the dark block and counted to nine with the dark block. Yeah, well, I don't think... I think he threw it before, so he didn't have time to count properly. Right, right, right. If he'd thrown it earlier, yeah. if he'd seen what was going on earlier... That would have been so slick. It would have been really good. It would have been a take on, you know, like a take on things you do for other situations. Yeah. And that's that, that's that creativity you have to employ in this game a lot of the time. And this time, Mike taking the bridge over. And that's, oh. that could be it. No. Yeah, this could be pretty significant. Oh, Ghoul's, Ghoul's, Ghoul's trying to clap. Ghoul says, get down here. Yeah. Oh, but he... But that dark block is going to be a pretty strong... Oh. Okay. And Mike just says, I don't like this side anymore. I'm just going to go get up here. No. no, he can't. The stage Mike falls Muscles out. Mike takes it 3-1 over Ghoul. Yeah, the, the hesitation came out. And Cathedral 
The, the right side of Cathedral pr proved too difficult for Ghoul to climb. Wow, 3 1 for Mike and Muscles. Ghoul, yeah, and Ghoul ends up in third place. It was a good showing by Ghoul, especially considering I don't think he's played in a Catherine tournament. No, he played at Evo. He played at Evo. So he did have Evo. Yeah, he oh. did. And he and he had a you know much stronger showing here than he did. Evo. Uh, Definitely bounced back as a competitive player. Definitely. And you know, I think Evo was also a tough one for him because he was streaming it all and just right. a little stressed out by that. So it was good that he was just able to come out here and play. And he really did show that he is a competitor in this game. Oh yeah. We'll see the end of this stage. He's not just a speedrun. Right. And difficult area so we now have grand finals. Mike Muscle's getting the run back against Dowsed Row. But, and uh, it looks like Dowsed Row did win the Rock, Paper, Scissors and will be taking one sheet. Oh, interesting. So Mike has to win two sets here. He uh, and I wonder I wonder how this works, actually. If, if they go to a second set, do you re-strike for, for orange and blue and all that? I think so. RPS? I believe so, because it is a new set. Right. Honestly, I'm kind of sad they're not doing the uh, the prison RPS to right. decide, but it takes longer, so I understand why. Yeah, it does. It does take a little while. Prison despair. If you don't play that, if if you don't play that stage like a gentleman, and you just do the cheesy strat, right? It basically boils down to RPS. It is one mix-up you have to figure out. Right. Um, but they looks like they're doing a button warmer, uh, a button check, hand warmer real quick. Make sure they're on the right sheet because they did just switch sides. Make sure everything's working well. And it looks like while they're doing this, they are striking their stages, so they're figuring out where they're going to go. Right. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised to see like Clock Tower come out. I, I wouldn't either, you know. Uh, what did we see last time? They struck. Oh, they struck, they struck a cemetery. cemetery. But that was when Mike was on. Right, and I, I think that's going to play out differently. I think Dasibro probably doesn't want that stage anymore. I think he would want something. A of the condemned will make it through. Honestly, something a little more stable, but in a different way. Like right. Something with a little more gimmicks. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Mike's still deciding here. It's a tough choice because, you know, he has to think back to the last set, think about what went wrong. Right. And he does have to win two sets here. So what what did happen in the last set? He won on Cemetery. He won on Cemetery. He won on... Torture uh, Cathedral? Oh. No. He won on... He won on Spiral. Spiral. And he then... He lost on Torture he narrowly. Lost on torture, Quadrangle, and Cathedral. Yeah. Yeah, and I think, I think the big one is he lost on Torture to the block pole. Right. And it kind of kind of psyched him out. Kind of, yeah, kind of drained his momentum a little bit, I think. But I think now that he has momentum from Ghoul, and they do go to Torture, I think this also makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Zorkel's been liking Torture a lot. Yeah, that's, that is how it seems. Especially with a lot of the new opening. Yeah, the new opening, I think, makes it, uh, makes sure you have a little, you know, you're a little lower than your opponent, but you have a little more leverage. And Mike kind of, kind of sandbagging a little, trying to get some items. Staying a bit behind. Right, right, right. Uh, but you know he's in danger of getting fast broken right got now. It, yeah. oh. He pulls on the spike block. That's a pull he's not supposed to do. And now yeah. Dasabro smiling. Uh, honestly, again, that's kind of a rookie mistake. You feel Mike's in his own head. He has to be very careful here. But Mike, going for the new uh, the new openings where you ratchet the stage down twice. Oh, uh, that's Dasabro actually. Oh, it's Dasabro. Right. Right. The sides got switched. Right. 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 Okay. And yeah, you already see in the background, this stage gets really complex and three-dimensional really when you do that. So yeah, the three-dimension in this stage is weird, because there's a lot of background blocks. Yeah. So you can't really break this stage apart. No, no. It gets, gets real weird. Ooh. And Dastabro does get that X-Factor. That could be really big. Yeah, that's and pretty important. Dastabro does like to hold on to that X-Factor. Yeah. So he'll get the hit, knock him down, and just take off. Right. Oh, but, but Mike... Mike says no. But Mike, he didn't even give him a chance to chug it. All right, so how are they going to respond? They both just climb up. They're keeping it old school for this one. And David tries to bridge over. Mike playing pretty cautiously, honestly. Yeah. 
David finding an alternate way up. Trying to bait yeah, out the pillow hit, it's not gonna happen, that's fine. Yeah, that, that block got really dangerous because if they did walk and get hit, they would have died. Right. Ooh. Ooh, this is a pretty pretty good spot for uh for Mike. It is. You know, he's got the high ground. Um, David could climb up and fight a... The, the, the extra block that David has gives That's him... gonna help. It's gonna be necessary, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and there it is. You see, oh, Ooh. he tries to do the sunshine walk. Does not get it. That's a tough one. Wow. Is he gonna wall him out? Yes. He does. That's... And he takes the block with him. He says, no, this is mine. You don't get these. Oh! oh. No, but he falls. And he does... I'm not sure what happened there. That was very strange. So it seems like David got the pole. No, sorry, got the pin. And he got up. I think Mike had the pin, but walked off? I don't strange. Know. There definitely was a moment where Mike, where Mike didn't know what happened, and David seemed to have an explanation. I'm right. not sure what it was. Uh, I don't know. The look on Dasabro's face. Kind of indicated that neither one of them next place. I think die. that was just a, a super flub from Mike Muscles, man. One way or the other. Uh, that certainly looked winnable on that stage, but... Yeah, you know, I could see Mike taking it back, but I think he, he definitely is taking a minute here to think about what he wants, where he wants to go and what went wrong. Right. Yeah, that's got to hurt. Torture chamber. Only those who can ignore the pleas of those who could not escape. Ink. <laughs> Clock tower. Only those cunning enough to figure out the traps within this machine will make it through. And Mike takes him to Clock Tower. You know, the big thing is at this point, there aren't any stages that I, neither of them are going to be familiar with. Right. So it's honestly, I think at this point, it's just a large matter of what do you feel most confident at the moment. If That's right. Try to take that ridge that Mike tried to go for. Mike actually in a very dangerous spot here. Yeah, very, very he dangerous. Can? No. Oh my god. He did not climb up. Oh my god. He made his side very unstable and yeah. did not get the crossover. He got a little too cute there, maybe. That's the danger of running the Bobby Siege, man. If they steal your bridge, Shout things get Bobby dicey Siege. real fast. Am I going for the one bomb, though? Just crossed the over, tries to take that. He does have a good shot here, but he needs to climb quickly. Oh He's my not goodness. quick enough. And I think that's going to close him. it out. Yeah. That's row, 2 0 right now in Grand Finals. Yeah, very quick. He wants to stay on his throne. He is not even trying to drop another game. No, absolutely not. And Mike Muscles needs to make something happen here. Honestly, this is looking like a sharper yeah. Dasabro than it is. Winter's Finals. You know, yeah, he he started to, I think it was a little shaky at first. Right. But he came in, he got a little more warm. and More importantly, I think this is a more shaky Mike Muscles. I think, I think with Mike thing. Muscles, I think he had, he had everything to prove in winners. Now he's down a set. Uh, that was, you know, those were two yeah. sort of unfor... I, I feel like when he was playing around with that bomb at the bottom, he didn't really have a way out. And he was just sort of hoping and praying that Dasabro was going to give him an opening, and Dasabro just did not relent. Honestly, I think Mike wants machine. a much more stable stage than Underground. Tower. Ooh. Underground, a little more stable little than more that there's stable. no bombs. Yeah, not much. But I think it's it's better for him. It's stable in that there's not as many... Well, you know, he gets a raw fight. Blocks. Right, he gets the raw fight, and I think he can, he can outfight him. Right. Um, and also, I've seen Mike Muscles pull off some clutch situations this weekend. Oh, for he sure. Did, uh, you know, I saw him OCV some people in Blaze Blue, but he also did OCV Florida in the 3v3. He did. And he just gets the X Factor, oh. but he cannot take off because he will push the oh, stage out. Oh, will do it. And Dasset Bro pushes him out. Wow. <laughs> Mike needed a bridge over to the right side and get out of there, but yeah. the aggression was too strong from Dasset Bro. Dasset Bro on tournament point here. Yeah, he tournament wants round. To keep his throne. He wants to stay this. Can Mike make it happen? Can he stop it? He has a chance, but it's very close. Oh. He has to be very careful. Yeah, that was so clever from Mike. He actually said, you know what? And no, oh. Mike just falls. Dasset Bro is your Great. CEO Taku, 2016 Catherine champion. The king stays on his throne. That's right. I can't even explain what I that last that round was. was. Honestly, very anticlimactic. Two uh, very bizarre just drops from yeah. Mike Muscles. Mike's a little nervous. And we have top three here on stage now. Yep.
They're all getting everyone up here for the uh, the Catherine selfie. Oh, they're all on the stage. Well, yeah, that was a very good showing. That uh, was think, uh, that was know, exciting. It was. I uh, I think Mike got a little too shaken there. I think but he did. This really showed that you know this game at this point is full of killers. Right. I mean, I think the 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 the. The first place spot definitely belongs to Dasabro, right. but I think the second place spot is completely up in the air no, right now. No, it's definitely like, like number one is Dasabro, and number two is you, and number two is Mike, and number two is Ghoul. Ghoul, yeah. And number two is getting like Sketches, so many Australia, people. Australia, Oh, yeah, of all of Australia. Like, number Sh two is like, and honestly, Dasabro has come close to losing a lot. You saw he that has. first set in winner's finals. That was last round. Like, That's last right. game. That was very close. That's right. So, you know, this game has been getting nuts, and it's really cool to see people, you know, Kind of coming out for it, getting back into it, and if you guys and if and and even cooler, uh, like practicing their own regional tech. You know, right. when I played sketches early in the bracket, he got me with a lot of stuff that he had kind of been hiding. Right, you know, every kind of scene has developed their own meta. It's kind yes. of weird to see. Very easy to do that in um, this game. But you know, it's also cool. There's been some new players coming out, and if you guys are interested in getting into Catherine at all, like let one of us know. Let oh, Dasabro absolutely. know. We have a Catherine Discord. You can get in on. That's right. We're more than willing to help you guys play. We want to see people play this game. Yeah. Right, we you know we'll help you organize your yeah. local scenes and all that. Get people together who want to play, and and all of those people are in the Discord right yeah. now, you know. So it's very easy to find like-minded individuals who just want to get down on some Catherine. Mm -hmm. Well, Andrew, yeah, it was a pleasure. Was uh, I almost okay. don't want to get up from this <laughs> super comfy very bed. Very comfy. Bed's nice. I'm gonna just take a nap up here. Yeah. I don't. So yeah, that was a uh, that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Shout outs to Jabali for hosting this whole thing. That's right. You know? And the two-time CEO Taku champion, Dasabro. bro. Got a little trophy this time. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to come back uh, next year for my shot at the title. Definitely. Yeah, I'm we, definitely going to We all definitely have to go, go home and, and do some practicing. Right. It's yeah, we'll, just, we'll it's so inspiring to see, uh, like, especially Florida. I was so, so shocked with all the stuff well. that Sketches had. Yeah. Sketches had some stuff. And even, like, all the Florida boys, they got some tech. They're good yes. at this game. Yeah, the Florida, the, the Florida 3v3 and the Maryland three-man crew, yeah. uh, both of those, well, NorCal kind of swept, swept uh, both of the, both the of crew them, battles, but. but they were respectable crews in their own right. Yeah. All right? Yeah, I think that's it for us. Thank you guys for tuning in. Yes. Um, have a good night, everyone. Have a good evening.